something like, oh, I like that ornament. Not only is that ornament coming off the tree and going home with me, but my parents are going to end up getting like two more ornaments that look exactly the same because, yeah. oh, you like that? I'll keep giving you more of that, which is great. It's a loving family. Like that's that's a nice, wonderful memory. And there are far too many people, sadly, out there who I often interact with who don't have those kinds of loving family members. But it is funny how, you know, sometimes you go your entire life and you realize, oh, I guess he doesn't really like the bells. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or enough with the London broil. Bring some ham. Mix it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love you, but mix it up. No, it's, 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 it's interesting. And that's, that's uh, you, 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 should, you should think about a podcast. Yeah. I, I, think, I, I think you'd be good at it. I think it's a good topic. I think you could do it. And it's, it's interesting. I. This, the interviewing aspect of it, that's something that I like to do. That's one of the reasons why I like trial, frankly, is because prepping for a trial, I'm having these kinds of conversations, obviously, in the in the outline of proving a criminal case. But you need to have in-depth conversations with people about who they are and what their life is. Because if I just had you on a jury and put somebody up who said, on this night, I was the victim of this crime, that's not as impactful for a jury as it is when the person comes up and says, My name is Mike. Uh, You know, I'm 45. I'm resident in Chester County my entire life. I work here. I've done this. This is is what led me to the night that I was the victim of a crime. Because now you are invested in that person. And the same thing as a defense attorney. You know, learning about that that defendant. Because one of the things you, you may notice if you're ever in a criminal courtroom is that a prosecutor will probably 99 times out of 100 refer to the criminal defendant as the defendant. The defense attorney should refer to him as Mr. Jones or Miss Smith or maybe even by their first name if it's in a trial. The reason is because you want to humanize them. Right. But the Commonwealth may make it easier for someone to sit in judgment of another human being by referring to them as the defendant. It's a lot easier to find the defendant guilty than it is to find Joe, Jones. Joe Smith guilty of a crime. Yeah, it's interesting, and you talk about the the interview, and I don't, I I've grown to not, not that I dislike it, but it's not my favorite word because I feel I get more out of people when I'm when I'm talking to people in cases by doing what would be called an interview, but I find that the police tend to whether they want to or not interrogate. Yeah, uh, and good ones interview. Yeah, and. Because people say, "Are you here to interview me again?" I and I always say, "No, I'm here to have a conversation with right. you." Right? Yeah, that's that's much better to have you a know. conversation with somebody. And, uh, and it's kind of nice, frankly, in one of these settings because, I, I although I'm not a police officer, obviously when I'm when I was involved in those kinds of investigations, you have an eye towards an interrogation or an interview, and to have a conversation with interesting, hopefully interesting people about interesting topics that they're involved in. The idea being that you learn something and hopefully folks who are listening learn something or even better, have some kind of connection. If the human right. being out there hears something and thinks, you know what, that guy's like me or that lady's like me, then that's a, a genuine human connection, which frankly in today's day and age, it's harder and harder it's to harder have those harder. genuine human connections. And people, people, the only thing this show has going for it is the authenticity right? There's no presumption. There's nothing. We uh, and people like that. I'm not going to yell into the mic. I'm going to, uh, you know, other other than other than the nervous tick that's become bashing of millennials, which I didn't do this time. Uh, uh, it's just I'm a Gen Xer. Uh, oh, that's I, I'm the. I read an article recently that apparently that's the middle child of generations. Yeah, yeah, you got you always got to watch the middle child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The middle child. But yeah, if uh, thank you for coming. If you Absolutely. ever want to come back, thank uh, you. Feel free. It was great talking to you. It's great working with you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your help over the years. I've always enjoyed talking with you, and um, it's it's nice to be here. And thanks for having me. I've I've enjoyed it. Okay. Well, hit the button, Russell. Hit the button. Take a picture. <laughs> yeah, that was-